Okay, this is going to be a quick video just discussing uh, a certain type of weevil, a beetle that invades uh, stressed out palms, palms that are either in a stress, they're dying, or they're, dare I even say it, dead. Um, the, these are Adenia marielis as well as a, quite a few other uh, zone 10A, 10B, 11 uh, palms that I have here in St. Augustine. And obviously this winter, January at least, has been a pretty rough pretty rough month and so these palms got very stressed and now are being attacked by um, embryo beetles and if you are familiar with uh, the plant world you know that embryo beetles are essentially the bringer of death <laughs> there's a uh, it's not a whole lot known about how to treat them we do know that um, when a palm is in stress what it does is it kind of secretes um, essentially kind of like a scent it uh, secretes uh, from the palm itself, a, uh, a vapor that, that attracts these beetles and, and they can fly all around um, and, and actually smell it. And so they'll target a palm that is weak and that's hurt, uh, such as this one, and they'll start uh, burrowing within the, the trunk itself. So I'm doing this video as just kind of like a, a shout for help. I, I really would love, would love some comments down below if anyone knows anything about Ambryos beetles just anyone in the palm community that could help me out. Um, these adenidias, I had all wrapped up for, you know, the times that it was cold. And then I took some copper fraugicide and I poured it all along the, uh, the crown shaft itself, um, all around the merit stem. And I believe this, this white resin is just uh, a byproduct of the copper fungicide. However, the, the same result has happened um, around all of the merit stems for the most part between this palm and and my other Adeninia over here, and then I've got, gosh, 15 other Adeninias about. You can see how it's kind of like gotten white, almost like a fungus there. But anyway, Ambryos beetles have infested my Adeninias. And uh, the first sign that you can see typically of, of uh, these beetles is when you look at the trunk, you'll see these little, little, it kind of looks like... Um, uh, pus like oozing out of the the palm itself you know they just kind of come out and you'll see little holes right beside them and and that essentially is where the the weevils will burrow in so they'll land on your palm that's in stress and then they'll burrow themselves inside on those little holes and as they burrow in they'll kick the sod out and they'll start pushing out into little directions and so um, you can tell obviously how many there are now embryos beetles the way that they work as a female finds the plant, she'll typically burrow in here or right around the heart. They always go for the heart where all the, the moisture is and where all the water is and she'll burrow her way in and then she'll uh, start laying her eggs. And then once she starts laying her eggs in here, um, she'll cause a fungus to grow inside. She'll secrete a resin that, that creates a fungus that festers inside the palm and it grows off of the palm's life or dying life that of. Um, and her eggs, when they hatch, the, the babies actually eat this fungus, and so they live off this fungus. Now, I know over here, I actually caught some in the act late last night. It came out at about 12 a.m. and started spraying these palms down. Um, trying to find it, but there it is. Uh, where is it? Gosh, where was it? One of these, actually, you can see... I believe it's, oh, some of these you can actually see the beetles, because I sprayed them and I killed them. Can't find them now. Hmm. No, but they're going to look like just little red guys, like actually. If you can see that, there's there's a beetle halfway sticking out there. Just barely, anyway, um, they're little tiny, um, there's another one right there. That he's sticking out there. That's 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 a beetle. That's what that is. Um, anyway, so what I've done so far is I, I came out last night as soon as I really discovered about. I, I spent about two hours researching Ambryos beetles and what to do. Um, so I came and I sprayed all of these palms with pesticides. I sprayed inside the heart. Like I said, I just put copper fraugicide a few weeks ago to try and help revive and keep insects from burrowing in. But I guess they already got in. So I sprayed. Um, uh, insecticide all over the trunks and inside the um, crown shaft itself and it looks like it's killed at least the ones that were on the exterior um, some of my other ones you can actually see them they were crawling and they just they died they're just 
laying on their dead and I was kind of wiping them off. But anyway, um, this video I would love, love, love for anybody to respond. If you know anything about Ambryos beetles and if there's any way to treat this this kind of situation, there's a way to kill them, if there's any way to revive the palm, if there's any anything, I know that there's not a whole lot out there. Everybody keeps saying, well, once you get them, you're kind of screwed. But if there's anything I can do here, please leave a comment. Um, and if this is starting to happen to you, the best way to keep the, the, the beetle, beetles out is prevent it. So make sure you fertilize your palms, um, keep them from having frost damage, water them regularly, uh, put on uh, hydrogen peroxide or uh, any kind of pesticides to keep them from getting in. Because once they get in, now, now you're in trouble. So this is a quick video, but if anyone wants to respond, I really would appreciate it.